Welcome to Digi Digital Literacy, Setting Expectations for Citizens in the Digital Age. The transfer task is to establish a classroom environment empowering students as responsible and effective citizens in the real and digital world in order for the students to create, collaborate, communicate, and think critically as they connect safely to the world. At the end of this module, you will determine how you are going to include digital citizenship in your current classroom citizenship expectations, determine the role of students in creating the expectations, create your expectations, and then create any supporting documents or presentations that are going to help you um, share these expectations with your students on the first day of school. Your essential question, to what extent can a one-to-two or one-to-one -one learning environment contribute to the achievement of mission? And our topical question, to what extent will my classroom expectations, expectations change to promote citizenship in the digital age? At the end of this module, you will know the challenges and benefits connected to incorporating digital citizenship in classroom expectations, and you're going to be skilled at incorporating digital citizenship in classroom expectations and determining the role of students in creating classroom expectations for the real and digital world. The first part of the process is to become familiar with safe digital citizenship. In order to do this, please read the article. The link is here. It's also on the web page. Um, as you read the information, you're going to highlight information that may help your team as you think about classroom expectations to include citizenships in the digital age. And then you're going to share your highlights um, with your colleagues as you move forward in creating these expectations for your kids. So go ahead and turn off the video now. Read the article. When you're done, come back. Thanks. Hopefully the article gave you lots of things to think about as you move forward in your expectations for your students to make sure that they are safe and responsible citizens both in the classroom and in the digital world. Additional resources that might assist you are from um, Common Sense Media on digital citizenship. You can look at those later. There's tons of resources, um, and I'm, um, so it's there just if you need it. Thanks. Okay, so what are you going to do now? Here's what you're going to do. First, you're going to determine your expectations. Even if you're going to have your students generate ideas, you need to know as a team what you believe the expectations are for kids in both the real and digital world. You're going to create your visual or create the lesson for student involvement. This might be a mini lesson that you want to do. And then you're going to share via a Google document um, in the district digital community. So once again, what we're hoping to accomplish here is for you to establish a classroom environment empowering students as responsible and effective citizens in both the real and digital world in order for the students to create, collaborate, communicate, and think critically as they connect safely to the world. Thanks. And remember, you guys, you have an hour for this module. There's three pieces to it. Um, so just kind of think of your timing. All right, thanks a lot.